What is up, internet? Welcome back to Mile High K, America's most productive K car channel. Today, I'm actually preparing for what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow morning. I'm gonna be going over to Steve Fast's house <laughs> to finally work on the Suzuki Carry. <laughs> I just need to load up some tools. Here's my engine crane, jack, bag of miscellaneous clamps, a light, grinder, that sort of stuff. I need to get these tires filled up with air because the front tires on the carry are flat so i just want to level it out so we have a good ballpark measurement on the ride height of the car i'm just going to pull the van here load up this stuff into it and then we'll be all ready to get to work bright and early tomorrow morning so let's get to it <laughs> Got the van loaded up and I'm all ready to go in the morning. I just have a couple more things to pick up from downstairs. I got some new grinding wheels, stuff like that, new gloves, new safety glasses, cause safety first. I guess we'll just see you tomorrow morning. See you then. The next day. Good morning, internet. We are over here at Steve Fast House. I just got some of the stuff unloaded for what we're working on today. Got the tires pumped up. Gonna get to work. Should we move the lawnmower out? Yeah, I think so. Just, okay. So we just got the new aired up wheels put on and the frame is pretty darn level. So we're gonna go with that. And what we're gonna do is measure out even on each side, right about here to cut. We'll <coughs> cut off each frame rail and then measure how high up we want where the, so this is where the bottom of the bed attaches to. So we're gonna measure up from here to there. Then we're gonna just have two long frame rails go all the way down to where that was and go from there. So we're just gonna mow the lawn, mow this lawn and send it.
return. So we cut the frame rails off. Gonna build some little vertical pieces and then notch out this so we can put our two inch square tubing all the way back. But it's kind of sketchy right now. There's a jack in the front holding it so it doesn't want to tip over. But it's really, like these are loose, which is fine. And we're just gonna set up the chop saw and send it. fucking thing great or a little bit hotter than you typically would on this okay. metal and a little bit colder than you would on this metal okay so yeah it, it, it'll work it's just with the difference yeah okay but, but yeah like i really thought this would be you know like 11 gauge yeah it's fucking, really thin but that's 14 You'll... yeah we just have to like overbuild the fuck out of everything okay because this is these are welds you don't want to fail you yeah because it's gonna fail <laughs> the when truck you, when it's, tacoing when in half it. yeah yeah <laughs> this light makes it look so angelic <laughs> We're making good progress. We just got these little vertical pieces tacked in onto where we lobbed off the frame rails. We're about to cut this really long stick of two inch square tubing into two 72 inch uh, frame rails to go all the way back. And we got a notch out right here and like put a plate in there. Uh, so we might just like cut it off like all at the bottom and then up around and then just like put the plate in there, make it all strong. And like me and Steve were saying, we've got to kind of overbuild this thing uh, just to, to be safe. And then after we get the two frame rails in, we'll tie them together with a crossbar right there. And then that'll probably be it for today. Dude, that looks so sick. Gotta wedge it in a little. Cause it's supposed to be 33 and 5 eighths. 5 sixteenths. Oh. Weird shit happens like that sometimes. How about let's put that back here first and then work to the front. We can do that. Damn it. <laughs> first time. 
So we're getting everything all put together. Uh, we got the crossbar in the back here. We were gonna put this up there, but in order to make everything square, we needed to make sure the back was good. Uh, we just popped the breaker, so the welder's stuck, but gonna keep going. Full send, it's starting to look like something. We're making good headway on the Suzuki Carry. Uh, just a quick little update. We're getting these vertical pieces all welded in. So Steve's got the Inside edge right there, bottom edge over there. Working on the crossbar. I just cut out this bar to go across there, which I originally wanted it to do it more towards the end. But as you can see over there, that is where the brakes. Steve was telling me that it's probably better just to leave it there and scoot it back because there's a piece of double wall right there, so it's a little thicker. And so we just don't have to redo something that we can avoid make more work for ourselves. Gonna get this all lined up, and this could be cool because this is probably where we can mount the radiator in the future, or just somewhere. But yeah, it's looking good. Stinky. Well, at least I cut them consistently crooked. It's like exactly the same on both sides. Fucking amazing. <laughs> oh, nice. We could fill it in, right? Yeah, I mean, and with the contact points we have, we'll be fine. Okay. done for the day and we just rolled the engine in here just to kind of get an idea of where we're sitting and same with the lower control arms for the rear end uh, we're not going to be able to reuse the subframe but it'll be a good jig for what we need to do but it's looking pretty sick super stoked and we'll just pick it up when both of us have some more free time. All right, internet, I just left Steve Fast's house and we had a very productive morning working on the Suzuki Carry. We got the frame rails mostly welded in. Uh, there's a couple edges and welds that need to be done to finish everything up. We need to go get a little bit more material. Next time, we need some more of that box tubing in order to reinforce uh, more close to the cab. And then we were able to kind of eyeball where the engine's gonna go. We had like a good idea of what we need to do next time. So we were able to get the frame mostly mocked up. And next time we're going to be mocking up where the engine mounts will go. I do need to get a new transmission mount because the old one I cut up and I just want to redo it entirely. So getting a new one from the junkyard is the way to go. So as soon as we get that new motor mount, some new material, we'll be able to continue uh, mocking up where the engine's gonna go. And then after we figure out where the engine goes, then we can figure out where the rear end goes, the control arms, trailing arms, and also where the actual coilovers will go. I don't have any coilovers now. Uh, I will have to get those at a later point. So we'll probably just put like a, a pipe in there just to mock up uh, 
something so we know where to put them when we do get them. That's it for now. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and share it with one of your friends. Be sure to subscribe to keep up with the project. So thanks again and remember, keep it small.